Oof. There you have it. Oh, man. <laughs> that nigga legs bit like this here. <laughs> Come on here. Let's see what's going on, man. Hey, man. What's up, what's up, Hey, Jamal gonna be fucked up for the next two days. <laughs> My thing be messing up sometimes. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Here we go. Woo, 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 woo. It, it picked back up. You said what? It picked back up. What did? Yeah, no, it did. Okay. Sorry. Okay, we got here. Yeah. Let's see here. Juggernaut reptiles. Yeah. So his name, his name is Elijah Armis, mm -hmm. and that's the guy that sold me my um. He sold me my golden eye blood pipe. Oh my God! What's this? Oh, he did. He's a good guy. Yeah, good guy. And um, hey, I told him, uh, you know, I'm still in the process of learning about him, and he knows everything that I need to know. So there you he go. Want you to have him do it live? Live on Instagram on YouTube. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hi. How you doing? Hi. How are you? That's your little. Now nah, where's that fool at? Oh, he's on his way. <laughs> Boom! Then that's where you get it. I got to set up right now. Where it's on. Jamal, Jamal being there like he's cooking a, a brisket or something. <laughs> every, every time, every time I see him in here with his thing, it's like. <laughs> oh, I forgot to have this on my head. <laughs> <laughs> that fool, that fool looked up like, what's on me? I was talking about a roach or something. She said something about a bug. She said something about a bug. They're in there. Roaches there. There we go. Over there. That's funny. Damn, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's <laughs> roach vibes, that's a thing. It must be. Just can't tolerate it. Just put one over there, right? I did. I did. No, oh, well, this one, trust me, even myself, trip. people be tripping oh, yeah, on these things. I'm like, ah. I had to buy. How many did I buy enough of those? Yeah, yeah, you got plenty of these. Okay. The, the, this oh, yeah. one and this one are the main ones. Yeah, I bet. These two are legit. Kind of a little bit. Kind of a little bit. See, y'all making me like, Ooh. not want to record at the studio no more. Why is that? Because I'm on their time and I don't like it. Yeah, like, no. When I want to record, I want to record. Yeah, no, no, trust me. I mean, we've. But we're, they do every. Like, I still need this. 
I don't do it. I don't do the editing. I don't do it. How long does it, what's the turnaround though? Oh no, they're quick. Like all our episodes are already edited. I'm just getting ready to launch mm -hmm. in January. That's the same with us. We have a team of, we have a team of seven in the Philippines that do oh. all of our stuff. Oh, so you guys put everything oh, so in the I'll cloud. Say, Philippines yeah. is the way. Oh yeah, yeah, everything. But they told me they can't afford me right now. I said, okay, well I can't afford to work for free, <laughs> so. <laughs> so when you're ready, you just let me know. Exactly. What's the pain they going to the They probably, they, I don't well, think they're yeah, paying them that much, but everybody's, I'm the only person in the exactly. studio. What is that? Well, you got this on video. No, no, you're good. Right? So it's like, oh, only about 100 a month. That's the tax you get. But, and then I got like 100 king of shit. I know another dude who signed like, Maybe two months before me. Who that look like me? Cause, it, Cause it's deeper than black too, right? Because all black ain't the same black, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> I'm keeping it real, right? If I was here in a sweater vest and I talked with a with a different type of twang, like you might expect me to say some of the things I'm saying or do some of the things yeah. I'm doing. But I'm still me, right? Like the culture in my household, you know, where it's like, all right, I'm giving my family everything. They, they yeah, but not everything they need. That was one of the realest shit that, that you heard, and I, I definitely appreciate hearing it from you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you had an aspect where you say, like, you were not to mind the time that, you know, I have to pour in it. How y'all doing, man? Yeah, yeah. Dang, this thing acting crazy already. It's good food. What you got? What you got? You caught something? Huh? Oh, 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, last night. Huh? I said, yeah, I'm ugly right now. Oh, where the camera thing coming off for now? <laughs> they look like oatmeal. These No, no, no. That's why I bought them. Look, bro, get this. Fucking toilet yeah, toilet yeah. rolls. Yeah. Toilet rolls got down. Like Eighteen bucks. So just cut those in half. He don't know how to do make the. You can cut them in half, bro. You got three in your hand. You got two. Them five dollars, man. I ain't paying no eighteen dollars for such and such. And them paper towels, we run through them all the time. And here, matter of fact, let's get you something so we can. Oh, you about to make it difficult, man. I see what he's doing. <laughs> Okay, so at this moment in time, Jalil is uh, getting this thing zeted in key beauty. Boom. You and me both, bro. It's gonna, it's gonna be a long day. Look at the stroller and everything in there. Yeah. Because today is gonna be five hours worth of podcast if everything goes right. Getting three out of the homie Parker. We've got a tattoo person coming. And uh, one of our other homegirls, she's bringing her. And then I think me and Maul need to tap into two, two particular ones as well. So stay tuned. Thanks for coming, man. Bro, we up and at it, man. How you doing? Good. Long time, man. Likewise, man. Likewise. Why are you so goddamn big? Oh man. Oh, this is the homies. You about to meet him? So. Uh, I just moved in with him, and uh, we go upstairs, man. That's what we're gonna do. It. I moved in with him uh, a couple months ago, and uh, you know you you hear about his story and stuff. But we so got the. What's up, man? <laughs> and so, oh uh, man, streaming, man. Over there, over there. That fast cor that corner over there. So, um, 
I mean, shit, we had some awesome truckers, like, on paper. They seemed like they were going to do the damn job, but, like, when it came down to it, they didn't. You know, and then the, and then the ones, like, you got these young guys that get on the road. These are the ones that, like, make you want to still stay in the business, honestly. Mm -hmm. These young guys that show up, and they maybe just had a kid, or, like, they're going through a life transformation, mm -hmm. and they they take care of everything. Yeah. And they drive the truck. They have their quirks, right, because they're new, but outside of that, it's like, they could be the best ones. Yeah. You know? So you get it, I right? Back the nice things I said. <laughs> <laughs> but but the point is, is I said, yo, I think if we created a tequila and call it El Perro, and and you know, uh, also it's dog, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said because you bring that that tequila, bring that dog out in you, and then you turn around and create the whiskey and call it man's best friend. Yeah. With what we're doing, I think it could be very scalable because people right now, how do I get the clothes? I, I mean, I'm not gotten really to the branding stuff. I don't want anything to actually look like me because when you look at my dog subs or that Pangea logo, you say, uh, they're going to be like, a nigga came up with this fucking thing? And it's because I spent so much time in healthcare and I know how to, I think I know how to do a good job of... It's very healthcare-esque. That's the point. Yeah. Um, because I get all the messages with the concerns of, hey, my dog's got skin. I took it to the vet, $600, $400, $500. The vet didn't know. What are some tricks? Oh, shit, that really helped. So it's all working this stuff out. Question yeah. for you. How, um, like, what is the legislation around, like, veterinary science? Like, are you, do you have to be licensed to provide advice on dog supplements or dog nutrition? No, you can create it. There's 80% margins. Anybody can come up with the product. It's just like there's the FDA doesn't get involved with uh, human supplements, which is why there's a new one every fucking week. Yeah, I guess I'm just trying to figure out, like, um, you know, it's one thing to be a, a vet, right? And then and some wisdom on, on the health and well yeah. or health and wellness of these dogs. But I didn't know like you're you're obviously not a veterinarian. Of right? course not. And I make yeah. sure I say that in quite a few videos, guys. I'm not a vet. Why you think I know everything? Well I just need a second opinion because I'd be I said, could I become Oprah? Good point you brought it up. I said if I could become Oprah and they trust me, we could change everything. And right now there's no Steve Jobs of the dog space. There's no face. So the white people the black people, the Mexican people, the Trinidad people, the fucking UK is on my ass right now, brother. Wales, yeah. Finland, Australia, they all come to us or me um, for for information and education. And what I do is highlight those people. So I, I think the big question you're asking, which we're going to solve for, is can we do this online? So Chris and Ruben both have access to a lot of information in terms of solving problems in Texas. We could do a direct primary care type setup where if you partner with our insurance company, which we're going to build this year, we'll be able to turn around and assist in getting people the medications they need while also giving them the dosages. Because a lot of medicines, they're already sold on Amazon. So you might need ivermectin, pyrantol, I mean, just simple stuff, right? From, yeah. pre from preventative standpoint, it, it could become very interesting. Yeah. Have you... Uh What is the um, what kind of traffic are you guys getting? He would know that. I don't. I don't look at anything, bro. What kind of traffic? Talking about in terms of sales or just in terms of just people coming to the site? This site. So the site we are averaging. Oh man. He has all the. Like Wix or Squarespace. Wix. Yeah. So Wix is my dog tool. Uh, Shopify for. Uh, my dog subs. subs. Why? Why different platforms? I think Shopify had a better integrated system yeah. because our, our manufacturer needed back in, uh, basically a back end to Are all the. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like I told you, it's a space right in Farmer's Branch, yeah. ducked off. Everything gets packaged and shipped out of there. I never see it. I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So are you, are you just white labeling or you actually have your own formula? No, no, no. I create my own formulas. That's what makes it unique. So even now, uh, UK won't allow to be bone broth in for whatever reason. Come from America, be bone broth helps puppies with the uh, absorption, dogs with absorption of nutrition, nutrients per se. Uh, so we took that out and added pumpkin. What pumpkin going to do? Assist in improving digestion as well. Yeah. So I just removed one thing and added another. But that's what makes us unique too because it goes, this dude really knows about food. While I'm applying it to the dogs. Oh, yeah. and guess what? You don't want to do everything I'm doing? Take a scoop. Or you got a dog of bag food. Dump the whole thing in there. Right. Now you've upped the amino you know, uh, production in a sense in a dog's overall quality of life. Okay, man. What are you doing? We do more. This past year we did about 80,000. Nice. Yeah. On the subs or the supplements? Supplements specifically. 
the tools itself actually, we are uh, we average about one or three sales a day, and we're from twenty to fifty bucks. So that this is good for him because this fucker he does this is the kind of stuff where he, he'll miss that and you like damn you went into that room mm -hmm. and you I brought you to talk to the monsters and I don't oh, do that. That's huge. And he wasn't prepared. Yeah. yeah. No. Dude, no, not at all. This is good for him because when people say, hey, I said, look, I don't see anything. I don't even give a shit about it. So mm -hmm. when he said we did 80 bands, I'm not even posted puppy blocks in fucking four or five months. And we mm -hmm. have at least 80 people subscribe where it comes out of their account yeah. every month. I said, now this year, if we double down, create our 10 products, our 10 core products. And I hit them bitches over the head three times a week in the story. Once to two times a week in on the page, yeah. and then pay for some ad and ad, you know, pushing the thing out. I said, Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be please so transparent with you. Sure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it out, out there as much as you are talking. Yeah. The reason is um, that when you look at like these these creators that are really like performing at their highest, yeah. at the highest levels, they're not in your face. Like, I get, don't get me wrong, like, I get the need for, like, dollars and cents today. Yeah. And talking about talking about it right now will lend you more dollars today. But your conversion, your your branding, your um, your longevity will mean more if you don't shove it down people's throats. Now, that said, there's two, again, there's two approaches, multiple ways to skin a cat, right? Yeah. The Grant Cardone, like, like in-your-face way... I'm just using Grant Cardone as yeah. an example, or like the soft brand way. If you already have the exposure, yeah, you know it's not it's not, it's not a big deal to like mention it every now and then. Oh yeah, you know you want this, you know go over here or like whatever. But like three times a day, bro, don't fucking do. You're, gonna, so, you're gonna water yourself down. So Desiree get this. Went through this recently. So get this. The, so so part of what. <laughs> yeah, when you shove shit down people's throat, they like, come numb to it, right? Yeah, it's, it's hard, man. So, it's hard. so the soft mention still is the key. So what I told him, I said, hey, do you have my dog tools as a handle? Mm -hmm. Because now, Insults, so get this, I'm actually, I'm not going to do it on my page. Because we reached a million people last month without me having to do one. Like, just in our reach, it was, yeah. it was a million plus people that saw our shit last month. And I don't even use hashtags on IG. So yeah. part of it is filtering it in there and drop it in the story. But like that whole, guys, my puppies, I'm not going to be that guy because yeah. we still, I think, I want to hit 500,000, if not more on IG, just with the branding side of things. And I think yeah. it's plausible. Test it. Just test whatever works. But like mm -hmm. definitely, um, definitely be cognizant of that because yeah. I think what you're building, like you, you know, for example, okay, my wife is, you know, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's. Been in for you written them, they're all done. I made them myself. Which is your camera for free. Are they solid though? Like like would you, you feel complete if they scaled up to doing like a hundred thousand dollars a month? We've done video? we've done videos of his girl using the guide. People Jalil, have used the guide. Jalil, Jalil, everybody that's come yeah. and got with them, I've said, yo, look at this guy, use it and get the numbers right. And it looks like a bowl that I would put together for the dogs without using it, um, if they have access to all the ingredients. And so we we put those we've we've done those things just to like get people to test them and it's like oh so shit. So why not works. scale it? Like what's the what's the hesitation there? It's a hundred percent margin. <laughs> that's the that's the problem with this. We'll push it. <laughs> I mean it's 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 exactly okay. So if I had to give you an answer, there's still quite a few challenges with people saying, I don't want to feed my dog anything but dog food. There we're two years away from. Hey, you can feed your dog raw chicken? Yeah, well, fuck those people. <laughs> there you go. Not, not, to, not to cut you off. No, you're good. Like, that's, not, that's not your audience, right? Yeah. No. And so you have, a, you have a broader audience of people who are interested in raw dog food, who are right. interested in their dog's health and their whatever, right? Yeah. So then I have to ask, like, $8,000 just passively, mm -hmm. right? Which, you know, is not market moving. It's not, it doesn't change anything. It's like rent. Yeah. <laughs> for, so, for like for one month. month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one month rent. Um, like, why that eight thousand dollars though would have been well applied to rebuild the site and then dump four thousand dollars in marketing mm -hmm. and still, you know, have a thousand dollars to re refresh all the guides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Do mm -hmm. what? What? So what's the reason you haven't done it? <laughs> There's no reason. It's just not been I done. Do it. <laughs>
Say less, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to be critical, but no, like, not at all. no critical's I, needed, my man. Exactly. I envision, you know what? Like, I wish I had, I could, I could formulate my brain into like a short form guide. Not that I can't, I just don't know how, right? Uh, so I would tell you, I'm very good and, at curriculum. Mm -hmm. You break just same thing you did. Yeah. yeah. So what? What are the best proteins? So there's a protein veggie. Yeah. I mean, there's a, and then there's a complete guide that just turned just a guide. I broke it all down. Put he put it, uh, it together, yeah. but I had to write it all up because I say, yo. They need to know, hey, what are the best veggies? How do you measure them? Here's the numbers. And even people that pay me $20 to be a part of our group yeah. on Instagram, they go, hey, no. Some people are promoting it like, hey, I actually got this guide from Trev. You need to know your numbers mm -hmm. and all the mathematics I created for it. And that exists. No, it's, yeah. it's yeah. definitely beneficial. You know, you know the I designed it. Yeah. yeah. He's you good at design. Saying, though, is that like you know, about digital products or as far as you offer? That's yeah. The, yeah. That's what we were telling you. That's what I was telling you, bro. <laughs> Like, yeah, you, don't don't see see huh? you say you don't see it? Well, with with, with oh, the there's right? so many. Yeah, it's like doesn't. I feel like it's saturated. But with their shit, it's like they have they already have the following. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like well, in his I'm case, not. though, his his old lady's very good at communicating, and she get like budgeting's an issue, right, for the average person. She's good at making it make sense. So here's a blueprint for budgeting. The, here's the thing I would say is that it is saturated, but the market's much larger, mm -hmm. right? Not only that, but if you can um, polish up as like a person of color mm -hmm. and present it for the community, mm -hmm. like the, the people, like just brown people, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you'll just be well received in that sense, right? Same shit I said. Now, yeah. mind you, like, mind you that you will have to find, like, obviously you want to be yourself, but you'll have to figure out what lane in that makes sense because there are, like, I mean, you've seen it. You know, there's like the freaking the scammers out there that are still doing it. You know, <laughs> he knows them. A lot of them, dog. A lot of them. Yeah, bro. A lot and of I them, get bro. it. You know, but back to YouTube. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because Please. because like y'all do really do have the following, right? <laughs> Which isn't significant in this sense for the for the um, digital products, but like definitely I think applies for whatever you're doing too. Mm -hmm. Like, if you guys have the ability to, to distill information into a product yeah. that you can sell online and, you know, whatever form, one, I think you need to, you need to fucking do it, you know? <laughs> like, I think it, it really just simply comes down to him just literally saying, hey, you have no question about this, go purchase a guy. Literally just direct No, that is not it. Really? No, I think you, first of all, you need a better lead funnel. I just went to the site. Um, and so that, that, not that you won't make transactions, you will. Like mm -hmm. if he does that, you'll still make sales. Yeah. You just off the merits. But what you want is, dude, it's like selling dick, right? <laughs> like you have, we all have dicks. Yeah. We can go sell it in the street, hypothetically. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what for Harry Hunt, man. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so like my point is, it's a hundred percent margin. Mm -hmm. Like you can have the opportunity to experiment and over design or over complicate this, this feature as much as you want, mm -hmm. but like create a funnel that will get people into different upsells, right? So whatever, maybe you have like a baseline guide that you're willing to give away, mm -hmm. right? Benefits of using like a, 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 a maybe like, have chat GPT write you a fucking ebook yeah. on the benefits Trust of me, doing bro. Ah. Been there, done that. Okay, so get your free guide and then funnel them in, dude, to like, next thing you know, you're on like a, a $100 product that they're buying from you. Maybe it's mm -hmm. a comprehensive list of all your guides on whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, you will be sitting, I, if you do this, th do this this year. Yeah, no. If you do it this year, next year, you'll be in a very, you'll, your life will be different. <laughs> so what are we giving away for free? Because I know you said we always give a lot of shit away for free. Uh, more of an organization. It's kind of like when Mark Cuban did his uh, his ebook per se, and it was just everything he wrote in his blog. So I could organize basic information and say, guys, here's a basic information guide on all the foods your dog can and can't eat. So just print it off, and that could be a list of all the things that best meats, best veggies, best fruits, best fiber, mm -hmm. uh, best bones to use as well, and bone size. That's free. You want percentages, growth, all that other stuff? Then you like you got to buy that fucking transition, all this yeah. stuff. But that's that's I don't easy. know that like, that up and I'll put it, I'll put it yeah, and I don't mean to cut you off because like I want to be conscious of time, um, but I'm I'm like very serious. Yeah, no. <laughs> you guys do this because you already have the interest, so you have verified that people want this. Oh, right? thanks. Fix your funnel, fix like build the curriculum in a way that people will will funnel down into like whatever big purchase there is, right? So you have levels. Yeah. Invest in that. Mm -hmm. 
And I can guarantee you that next year you'll have you'll have if you do it right and you execute, you'll have six figures to fuck with huh. at the end of this next twelve months, oh, or more. Months. Yeah. Or I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if more. No, no, no. I've got I've got realistic goals. So like I told, him, we're about to double down on everything because yeah. um, if this is the numbers we did without me trying, I don't remember shit I said last year. It don't even matter. I said, but when we go in to start really high end editing, doing the Mr. B stuff. And getting like to the bag, and even doing this, mm-hmm. you go, we we about to fuck them up, point blank, because they can't keep up. I know the fact they can't keep up. So if we get a certain numbers, two fifty. Yeah, here's two, what I would say to you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep. You on, good? You keep. I keep on. I'm sorry to keep on switching the subjects, but like, not keeping up in a in the form of like performance is great, right? But not keeping up in a form of how many platforms I have to chase you down on to get information from you, I, as a as a. As an outsider, I don't want that, yeah. right? So, um, so like, keep it simple for me as someone who's a viewer, right? I want to, I want to be able to get your brain. Like, if I'm following you, it's because I want something from you, yeah. right? And we have to be conscious of that. So, the more barriers you set up for me to get that something from you, the less interested I am, yeah. right? So, not to say that like the things you're doing are valuable; they are valuable, but just make, just be cognizant of. What I would say is like find that staple as far as like information sharing. Um, it may be the podcast and the things that you talk about on the podcast that you <coughs> clip up and put on your Instagram or your TikTok or whatever. What did Rich say? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, because no, if you do like if you like film something specifically for this thing or specifically for that thing, now it's like, okay, we said something over here, but I gotta go over here to like get the rest of the thought over here. Or if I'm really invested, you know, like where do I get the real investment, right? The real value. That's where you have to think about like how to break it all down. Um, because the money's gonna come from YouTube if, if you're talking about content, right? And mm-hmm. beyond the YouTube, it's gonna come from from sales. Yeah, right? always, sales gives all. Instagram and TikTok are not paying paying your bills, right? right? They're mm-hmm. pennies on the dollar compared to like your YouTube revenue. Yeah, YouTube yeah. revenue is the only one that really fucking matters at the end of the day. Crazy, yeah. yeah. It's the only one that's scalable and leverageable Dude. because you go, oh, they're getting the bag there. So oh. even, Desiree, uh, we don't, she doesn't even have that many on, on YouTube. And but they she's watch. she's making like $2,500, $3,000 a month. Just on like 20,000 subscribers or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Something, it's so, it's, and it's already, I'm like, bitch, you need to do more of this. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> hey, look, look, that's exactly what we're going to focus on. I want $20,000 a month on YouTube um, because I think we can get there. <clears throat> Fine tuning our, our, you know, method, if you would, on getting the dog space. Let's go ahead and get this one, this last one.